you set everything up, you wait for hours for the print, and you end up with something bumpy or gapped. Now, time to end all this because we've got a secret sauce for it. Let's get on this ride for makers, and I call Shotgun. Before we jump into it, sometimes it's your worn nozzle that gets you, and sometimes the nozzle diameter in your slicer doesn't match what you're actually using. But if the road is all clear, then it's flow rate calibration time. We're using Hyper PLA in today's tryout. First, we go to filament settings, find flow rate, set it to one for a trial run, and save as the preset. Now round one of our experiment. In this round, we'll do some coarse tuning and then narrow it down in round two. Click the arrow icon, go to flow calibration, then pass one. Slice it, go back to flow view and print. The next step, we choose the best print among them all. Not the bumpy guys, not the gapped guys, but the flattest and smoothest one. We note its number. Same workflow, but with pass two, a narrower range of numbers. Here, the gameplay is the same. Flow calibration, pass two, slice and print. Then printing, comparing, and choosing again. Now, we put our two winners together and check out their numbers. And the best flow rate goes to, haha, <laughs> just kidding, the right number comes from a formula. Here, number A is the original flow rate we set, and number X, the one on our round one winner, of course. Number Y, our round two MVP, and a little breakdown of this formula. That would give us 0.99 as number Z, our perfect flow rate. Then we set it, and save it. Voila, that's flow rate calibration, our recipe for silky smooth prints. Try it out and tell us how it goes. Let's go silky together. And more tips are on the way. Stay tuned.